Hello, my name is Jackie Wargo and I'm the Fine Arts Department Chair at Homewood Flossmoor High School. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our department, about the different courses that we offer at the different levels that we offer them, and a little bit about our Fine Arts Academy. So first I would like to talk about our HF transfer goals. These are goals that we have set as a school for all of our students. Um, these are things that we believe students should be able to do uh, by the time they leave our school as seniors. Even more specifically, we have fine arts department transfer goals. There are four of these. Um, the first two reference the creation and the performance, which are, are really at the heart of what we do as a department. Students come to us to learn how to paint, how to create films, how to um, master an instrument and perform on stage. These are the things that um, are truly at the heart of our fine arts department. We also respond and connect, and those are two things um, that we believe are important, that students are able to respond to the work of others, appreciate the work of others, and be able to make those connections between themselves and the rest of the world. First, I'd like to delve a little bit deeper into music. In our music department, we have four main ensemble groups. Each of these groups is divided into a beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. Uh, these groups are based upon their musical auditions. So we have band, percussion, orchestra, and choir. Uh, we do have a full marching band that performs in the fall. Um, the percussion is also a part of that band. And then all four of these groups perform regularly at concerts in the evenings and on weekends throughout the school year. Um, our students are um, kind of like a little family. Um, they work very closely together and, and they really develop strong musicianship skills over the course of those three levels. Now, when students reach that advanced level, oftentimes they uh, pursued that particular area of music for two years, both their junior and senior year. We also offer a few courses in our department that are not the typical band, choir, or orchestra ensemble. The first is guitar, and it is pretty straightforward. Students learn how to play the guitar. There's no prior music experience necessary. We also offer Industry of Music. This is a course that is more about um, the editing and assembling of music and the business side of music. So students who are really interested in music but perhaps don't play an instrument, this could be the class for them. We also offer AP Music Theory, which is a more advanced course. Um, this is collegiate coursework that students are doing and it is, um, heavy in theory and composition, and students, by the time they get to um, the May month of that course, they're able to take the AP exam to potentially earn college credit. We also offer IB Music. IB Music is part of that IB diploma, um, and that is something that is really kind of focused in, in world music, in composition, as well as performance. Next, I'd like to talk about our visual arts department. We have three main tracks that students typically follow. The first one is the studio arts. This begins with fundamentals of art, and this is what you would typically think of when you think of a high school art course. There's drawing, painting, as well as sculpture. Photography is another popular avenue that students follow. In photography, students will learn the contemporary digital editing skills, as well as traditional film photography and processing. Our graphic design students are predominantly working on the computer and learning how to render images um, in a digital way. So it's a very real life experience as to what a graphic designer would be doing. We also offer three additional courses that are not necessarily part of a long extensive track, but a lot of our students do take these as electives. Um, the first being AP Art History. This is art history through time, from prehistory to the present and all around the globe. Um, this course is also um, a course where students can earn college credit. 
So when students take that exam in May, they may be able to um, exempt out of those courses in college and earn that credit. We also produce the school's yearbook. So this is an entirely student-run publication. Students do the layout, the editing, and write the stories. We also offer interactive web design for those students who would like to specialize in the skill of the creation of websites, um, as well as those animations that happen on that website. In 10th grade, students can still take those introductory level courses, but we add a second level um, to all of our main tracks, which is Drawing and Painting 1, or Ceramics and Sculpture, and then Photography 2 and Graphic Design 2. At the third level, again, any of those um, first or second level courses can be taken, or if students have already done those, they can move on to the third level, which would be our Drawing and Painting 2, our Digital Concentration, and our Art Concentration. Drawing and Painting 2 provides more experience in the area of drawing and painting. Um, here, students start to develop their own voice um, as they've perfected many of the skills that have been taught in the two previous levels. Digital concentration and art concentration are opportunities for students to develop a thematic portfolio of work. Um, digital concentration focuses on photo and graphic design. Art concentration are our studio students. And then at the senior level, we offer AP Studio Art. This is a course where students can produce a full portfolio of work, submit it to the college board, and potentially get college credit. This is entirely self-directed and students truly get to have their own style and voice present in their work. IB Visual Art is part of that larger IB Diploma program. Um, here we also have students developing artwork, looking at art that is global, um, and really documenting their process um, as they create their work. Now I would like to move on to theater. In theater, we have four distinctive courses. Um, we have intro to theater, advanced acting, script writing and directing, as well as devised theater and ensemble play building. In these courses, we start students um, with the basics. We get them used to working as an ensemble. We teach students improv skills, as well as scripted skills. Um, to get them comfortable performing on stage. As students move along, um, especially when they get to script writing and directing, they start to um, understand more what it's like to be behind the scenes and the origin of a theatrical piece. And then by the time they get to 12th grade, they really get to um, kind of put all those pieces together. We also offer many opportunities for students in the evenings and weekends to be part of our plays and musicals. Next, I would like to move on to our media department. This includes broadcasting and film. We do have a full TV and radio st TV studio and radio station. Um, we begin with intro to broadcasting. And then we have um, two subsequent levels after that, one of which is repeatable. So these are our students who run our radio station. They um, go out into the field and they get to um, cover live events that are pertinent to the school. They get to go out to sporting events um, and different activities and cover what's important in the students' lives at our, at our high school. So these students are filming, they're interviewing, they're editing, and as they progress through each level, the skills get more and more complex, um, even to the point where they get to use the drone to do some filming um, for some aerial shots in their footage. In our film course, this is um, a little bit more artistic in nature. Um, here we have students who are interested in creating that long, extensive film. So these students, kind of similarly to broadcasting, are out there shooting the footage, um, they're writing the scripts, they are um, recruiting the actors and actresses for their, their films, um, and then they are filming them and editing them.
I would also like to talk about our Fine Arts Academy. The Fine Arts Academy is something that is incredibly unique to Homewood Flossmoor High School. Um, this is something you really won't find in a lot of other public high schools. This is a two-year program dedicated to our fresh, or I'm sorry, our juniors and seniors, um, our freshmen and sophomores. Even though they're not eligible for the Fine Arts Academy until they are a junior, they can still prepare for it by taking other arts courses. So at the end of, or I'm sorry, at the middle of their their sophomore year is when students apply. They apply to the Fine Arts Academy, and if they are accepted and choose to pursue, in the 11th grade, they will start taking the Aesthetics and the Creative Process course. This is a course that really has students focusing on why do we believe things are aesthetically pleasing or beautiful um, or engaging, and how does that, that come across in different art forms? Um, how is this different in different parts of the world? And why do some of us think something is beautiful and others may not? Um, 12th grade, students move on to the Design Thinking and Collaborative Arts Seminar. In this course, students will work directly on a project together collaboratively. Um, they're using their art skills to solve real world problems. In both of these courses, in the 11th grade and the 12th grade, students from all areas of the arts are mixed in together. So typically a visual arts student spends most of their four years just working with visual arts students. But in here, in the Fine Arts Academy, art, music, media, theater, everybody comes together to be in one singular course. Um, Students get to collaborate, they get to learn from each other, um, and it's a very unique environment and a very real world environment um, that they're exposed to. So um, the Fine Arts Academy, um, it's new in its inception, um, but we are definitely seeing the fruits of the labor and students are getting a lot out of this program. I also wanted to highlight a few things about our department that just makes us unique um, and things that students partake in, um, in addition to just their classwork. We have a number of shows and exhibitions for visual arts students. Um, they're able to submit artwork and they could potentially win uh, various awards. Some of those awards are monetary. We have various competitions and um, performances for our music students. Our music students often end up performing for the ILMEA, which is the Illinois Music Educators Association. Um, in recent years, we've also had the television, television station, WCIU, out and filming our school. Um, the band often makes a, an appearance in those performances. We've also had special events where students are able to perform in with our orchestra in the city of Chicago. We have students who've been up to Ravinia to perform with our choir. Um, we have guest conductors that visit. In our media area, we have a variety of competitions that they partake in as well, such as the Golden Lion Awards. In our theater department, we have students who go to all state theater. Um, they partake of Theater Fest and they have the fall play, the fall musical, spring play, and children's play to audition for. Um, we do many special community performances. Our students are active members in their community, so they're learning young that the importance of, of not just having a voice in the work that you have, but sharing that with others. Our faculty, we have some very dedicated and very experienced faculty here at Homewood Flossmoor High School. Um, our visual arts department has been named the Department of the Year by the Illinois Art Education Association um, two times within the last 20 years. We have teachers who are the Secondary Art Educator of the Year, the Early Professional of the Year, um, and we have art educators who exhibit their work on a regular basis. We have Golden Apple nominees. We have Prismacolor Scholars in the Classroom. We have um, an ISBE, Those Who Excel Award winner. We have grant recipient writers. 
We have um, a Phantom Regiment drum and bugle corps member um, and artists who partake of their own um, craft on weekends and um, are constantly working as artists, musicians, um, directors, and actors. We have people who are um, directors of plays, people who are acting in plays, um, because our art teachers, our fine arts teachers, really feel that it's important to also do in addition to teach. Um, if there's anything that I did not cover that you might still have questions about, please feel free to reach out. Uh, my email address is jwargo at hf233.org or by phone at 708-335-5640. Thank you for stopping by today and thank you for watching this presentation.